Good afternoon. What's up, everyone? Hopefully, everyone's doing well. It is November 29th of 2022. I wish everybody had a great and wonderful Thanksgiving with their family, their friends, relatives, you name it. Um, I guess I just can't escape the whole PS Vita type deal, so I guess I'm going to be the PS Vita man from now on. Um, today, we've got a new installment um, called Mass Effect. It's an Android-based game. If you hear the noise, it's outside. I have my window open. Um, excuse the uh, dump truck with a jaybreak. So this is what the game's going to look like. I'm going to download the VPK. So that's done. I'm going to go to the downloads folder. There it is. Here's uh, the Android base game right here. Everything's all good to go. Now, from here, we just gotta go to the Vita side of things and um, stay with me. All right, once you boot, booted up your PlayStation Vita, you wanna scroll down to wherever your Vita shell is. You wanna enter the Vita shell. Next, you wanna hit the Start button. You wanna go down to where it says Select button. Now move the D-pad over left or right, doesn't matter, to FTP or USB, whatever method, method you prefer to use uh, to transfer files over. We're gonna be using the USB method, so we're gonna leave it as that, this. Next, you wanna plug in your USB cord to the, either your desktop, your laptop, to the PlayStation Vita, and you wanna hit the select button. So since I don't have my, um, the wire plugged into the, my laptop, I'm getting this message right here. So once I plug my wire in, we'll be all set. So I'll see you over at the uh, my laptop again. All right, welcome back. Um, since the PlayStation Vita is hooked up to the USB method on my laptop, we're going to go open up the File Explorer. Go down to whatever your USB drive is for your computer. Everybody's going to be everybody's computer and laptop is going to be different. Mine's D. This is the what the uh, what it looks like the file directory if you did an FTP method as as well and this is what it looks like uh, when you go to your Vita shell go to the UX0 folder and this is what it shows so everything's the same so next you want to go to data I'm going to drag and drop this big file over it is 960, uh, 959 megabytes. So, you guys, you, you guys gonna need um, a good connection. No Walmart connection, no McDonald's or Treehouse connection. You need, you need a good connection to download these, this big file. Now, luckily enough, um, I found myself um, with uh, the Mass Effect um, HD. Um, assets so they're high res resolution they're HD they're not um, the assets from the actual Android phone somebody went ahead and actually um, made them into HD so you guys can game pretty while that this is going on I'm going to drag and drop my Mass Effect VPK like always I, I like a folder I like neatness Cleanliness, you don't have to do it, but it's there. And we'll just close out of that. And we'll wait for this to be transferred over. All right, that's transferred over. Um, that didn't take too long. Um, I sped up the video, of course. Um, next, what you want to do, you want to go to the little USB. Always eject... Just in case something happens and you don't come back and scream at me because you did something or whatever. I always eject. Just be on the safe side, people. So now you can disconnect, take the plug out of the USB from the desktop or laptop, and you're good to go. Let's head over to the PlayStation Vita side of things and button this up and uh, see what this game is like. All right. Well, excuse my hair. I got long hair. I need a haircut. Um, we're here at the Vita show right now. We're going to install this game. I'm going to go down to my VPK folder, install Mass Effect. Now remember, um, these games, 
they do take a while to boot up, so if you see a black screen, don't fret. Um, it will kick in. But um, from after this, I'm going to delete the VPK since I don't need it. You're more than welcome to keep it, as always, like I always tell you guys. But I just don't need it. Plus, keep in, keep in mind, please keep checking back at the website. This is version 1.0, I believe it is. Um, let me check right now. Yes, it's 1.0. No, yeah, 1.0. So sooner or later, there's going to be an update. So please grab the VPK. All right, once, since that's installed, um, I'm going to shut up from here. You're more than welcome to hit start, reboot, or just hit the select button, the PS button, and just swipe out. I like the reboot, just like I do on the computer if I install stuff, just so it could take, so, it, so everything takes effect right away. So once this stops booting up, um, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to um, just go directly to the game. So from here on out, like if you like, dislike if you dislike. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys later. Um, there's one thing I want to point out before I, I get out of here. Is that um, in the notes it says do not install FD fix. So only if you're using the repatch plugin. I don't know how many people use the repatch plugin, but I don't. And you don't. And it says, unlike the Dead Space mobile port, there is no requirement for a Q bridge. So don't worry about that, I guess. And on the GitHub page, it, t it tells you the controls as well. All right. There we go. Thought the thing died on me. I'll go to settings right there. I might have to turn this down for some copyright music or whatever. Over. I'm pretty wide in the drop zone. I can't see my team. 
Of signal interference. Could be jury and jammers, but it's probably just atmospheric, messing with my sensors. Get ship, converging on the target. Move out.